Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Tuxedo. Today I will be showing you slash proc directory. Uh, I will tell you about some important files in slash proc directory and the importance of directory. Okay, to begin with, proc directory has all the processes which are loaded into RAM and this is basically a link point between linux and ram so if i ls into this directory you will see lots of number number in there and these numbers are actually process ids so if i look at my processes which are running in my system for example I will take this process okay now I can see over here that this process has PID of 25866 and I can I can see that yes I've got a directory with this ID and in if you see over here that this process 25866 is actually running this command line and I can actually look at this command line let's look at it I'm gonna type my process ID and then command line and I can see that yeah this is the process which is running this command line and therefore this thing this command cat slash proc slash pid number whatever the pid is and cmd line can be used in various scripts if you are looking if you have a really big java command line and you're looking to get this command line you can use this file it's, it is a good file to keep note of and remember pid is always going to change with your pid and you can use this in your scripts Another important file to note in proc directory is proc cpu info. In proc cpu info, I can see various uh, information about my CPU. What is model number? What is CPU generation number? Which company? What are flags which are in my CPU? And many such information. You can find in CPU info. One more such file is VMstat. Okay. This file is more related to your virtual memory, your RAM and stuff, and you can see all the parameters which are being running and how they are running another one is meminfo this one shows my ram and my free memory and my buffer size and my cast and various other information which might be useful to you and and actually there are all there are many many f important files in here uh, you can explore these files some of them might be empty some of them might have some stuff and it's it's a good go through that you have a look at all of them and they all have some information which is cached up in ram okay there's uptime there and there are various others okay guys thanks for watching this video thank you Hope this video was useful and please like and subscribe to my channel.